Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are kicking off our new little series called Drawing for Illustrator. We can also call it Sketching for Illustrator, however you would like to see it. But a lot of the questions in the comments that I've been seeing, hey, instead of using the anchor point guy, can we go from a sketch? And then I also am getting, hey, can we start doing a little bit more drawing tutorials? So the answer is yes. So what we are gonna be doing and kind of a, my little focus on it is not necessarily doing a final version in Photoshop, this is just sketching, and then we're gonna bring it over and then finalize things in Illustrator. So there's a little bit of a different approach. We can be a little bit more rough. I am very pro rough drafts, just so everyone is aware. Right now, today, this is how simple it's gonna be. We are gonna be focusing on using stock photos, pretty much as our primary resource. So we're gonna use our little ice cream in your resources. I will leave you a link in the description. There is a new drawing for Illustrator folder. So this is what we're doing. You will have this exact file, so you can just double click and then open it. I will also give you in our folder our brush or the specific brush that I'm using. It is really not fancy at all. It's just a little bit more modified from the Kyle set that is already in your dry media brushes. So I am just gonna open up our layers. So right now I have a layer above and I have just a layer with my, my photo. Now we're gonna go right on top of it. Notice that I did call this tracing. Here are some goals as we move forward. One, I wanna break it down in the shapes. Two, is it something that I can follow or I can understand as I bring it over into Illustrator? So first thing, I'm just gonna grab this layer and I wanna just drop this down. Let's just drop it down to 50. I'm gonna click on return. A couple different strategies that we're gonna to do today is just with this layer with the photo, we're gonna start at 50% and we're gonna keep dropping it until we can't see it. With the sketch layer, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start at 50, and then as I get more and more confident with my line, I'm gonna to start to increase the opacity on the brush, not necessarily the layer, but on the brush, and then we're gonna also shrink down the brush. So that one looks good. I'm gonna lock out that layer just so we're not accidentally selecting it. I am gonna click on that sketch layer I'm pretty much done for that for right now, so I can click off of it. Let's just come on over to our brush. I am dealing with this charcoal brush. Again, I have left that into your uh, our, our resource folder, but any of these dry medium ones, any of these little Kyle ones, those will work just fine. Doesn't matter whatsoever. I don't want you to stress too much about this, this brush. So what we wanna do is I have my brush selected. I'm using blue. You can pick whatever color you want. You can do charcoal gray, any of those things will work. So for the opacity, I think I'm gonna drop it to 50%. And then for the size, let's start right around that 35. So something pretty chunky. And you're gonna see this approach in pretty much all of the different tutorials. It doesn't make as much sense now while we're tracing, but the idea is as I start moving away from tracing and now I'm just drawing things, this is gonna be something that we definitely wanna have kind of down as we start moving into uh, drawing from a resource rather than tracing from a resource. So first step, doing some nice little shapes. I am just breaking this down into as easy of a line drawing as possible. And my goal, usually time-wise, just so you can kind of see this little silly step, is the 45 second mark sometimes even less than that. And since we're tracing, I don't want anyone to be freaking out whatsoever. It is literally tracing, right? So I'm just getting those shapes down, breaking down most of these big ones. I'm getting my ice cream diaper in there. Okay, and we're about to be done. All right, so that was it. So in a very quick amount of time, what I wanna do is I just wanna see what kind of shapes, basic lines that I'm dealing with. So what happens right away is you'll go, all right, I think I can visualize kind of, all right, I got a shape under here. I have kind of a, a cone shape happening under here. So here's scoop one, right? And then here's the little mush back on top of it. And so notice that little thing of me just saying, hey, what am I actually looking at? I'm trying to figure out what's actually happening in it as I'm going through. So if I go over to Illustrator, and remember Illustrator gives you a nice, scary white artboard to start with. So the more simplified you can kind of make this layer, the better. 
Also, we've been dealing quite a bit with just line work on a lot of the tutorials. This is going to go right into building with shapes, which is coming very, very quickly here. So the more shapes I have, the more I already know what the building blocks are. So this is just a good little start, nice and quick. I am going to create a layer above it. Let's just lock that one out. A lot of time, this one will be really, really rough. And I'll start modifying and adding, and I'll start pulling away from the actual photo. So now with my photo layer, I'm going to unlock it. Let's just drop that down to, let's say, 33%. And if it's not grabbing it, by the way, you don't have to lock it out. So if, if you keep finding that your tools keep grabbing, that's why we are locking it out. But if it's really not necessary. All right. So now that I have this, let's just zoom in. And I think we can start to drop down our brush. And we can also up the opacity to right around that 75% mark. So as I zoom in, I want to start shrinking up my brush. I'm going to be right around that 25 pixel mark. And again, we're almost doing the same thing. I'm just seeing anything else that I might have missed. This little step, or the, the little shape step, just so everyone is aware, especially as we move into drawing with the resource not like a tracing one, but one that's kind of off to the left. Notice that as soon as we zoom in, we would lose the actual image. So this little pre-drawing, now I still know, oh, this is what I'm drawing. This is kind of what I saw before. And I can start to modify. And that first initial shape drawing shouldn't stress anybody out. I'm going to refer to that as our stick drawing. And this is all personal preference. This is all, hey, what kind of drawing do I want to create? Do I want something more cartoony, a little more illustrative? Do I want something that's a little bit more exact? Have some fun with it. But notice that I'm going super quick. Like I want things nice and loose. I'm not too concerned as of yet on where things are going. Let's just kind of get it in. And if this is your first time with your tablet, notice that I'm going over, I'm nice and sketchy. I am dealing with a 15 year old tablet. So it is super old. I do not have a big fancy Cintiq in front of me. So there's a tiny bit of blind contour happening. So if you guys have been feeling the same way, just be nice and loose with it. Also, I'm pro sketch. So just be aware that I, I do not believe in getting lines down perfectly the first time. You might see that same type of sentiment happening with my anchor point guides and drawing an illustrator. Just get it down. We can always edit. So that's going to come out. It's going to come down here. And you will find out a little bit too why we're going through this and why I think it was important to start is you'll see that there's a big difference of me just trying to draw on paper. And then now my hand has to travel this big giant long distance. So there's a little bit of a different feel when you are drawing on your tablet and you're zoomed in. And so the, the size and the scale of your drawing actually modifies quite frequently. So it does feel a tiny bit weird. I think that looks good for right now. What I'm testing out is, let's just unlock that. And notice I keep dropping down this opacity. Let's just hang out at that 15%. I'm hanging out on my sketch layer. So the more I pull away, the more I am focusing on what am I actually looking at? Does it make sense? Do I need more? And then we will add some more different little things, especially with value. So that did pop up today. Can we do more with value and figuring out value? The answer is yes, we will do that. So right now I have my brush. It's at 75%. Let's bump that up to right around that 85% mark flow i can bump that back up to 100 so as i'm getting more and more confident with my line notice that things get darker and i'm also starting to shrink my lines up a tiny bit as well the shrinking of the brush that really is going to just de be determined on how zoomed in you are so let's just start to see what we're looking at i like this little crease i like that coming in so as I'm getting more confident, I know you guys can't see it or hear it, but I am saying I'm pushing a little bit harder 
And so my lines are going to get a little bit darker. And in case you guys are wondering, when we bring this in, we have, why we're doing layers, we have control over what layers we bring in. So I don't have to bring in all these weird little sketchy layers. I promise it'll make sense once we do all of the other ones. So I'm just coming in. I am looking at all of my little shapes. And what you guys should be doing right now, especially if you guys are following along, which I always encourage you guys to do, this whole channel was pretty much designed on the repetition of getting in here and actually working in the program rather than, hey, I'm going to be watching a bunch of tutorials. And for those of you that just watched that, I'm glad you guys hang out with me. It makes me very happy. But getting in here, working out the bugs, like how zoomed in, in or out, what scale of the brush, how hard you're pushing, this is all going to be determined on you and what kind of stuff you like. Let's do the next little layer here. So I'm going to get, that's all good. I am going to go a little bit of the opposite. I'm going to go 25% flow. That's fine, but I'm going to bump this brush up. Usually like 90, something along those lines is pretty good. So this is where we're going to start to plop in some of the values. Do notice that I'm at 25%. So I do want that to be a little bit light. And I'm just going, where would I like some values to go? Do notice that I can bring back the photo underneath. So if you think that's helpful, and or if you're going for much more of an exact type of an approach, then that would be something that you can always come back in. So I'm looking at where I think values are gonna go. So light source looks like it's coming from here. So I want to make sure that these little, on this side, is kind of where those little values are going to go. This side looks pretty dark. Let's just remove that so I can kind of see what we're looking at. So I want that diaper to have a little bit of it on that side. That's all going to be in the same plane. Okay, so notice I selected everything. I am on my selection up over here. Hopefully, Illustrator's up, so I'm just gonna go File New. Nothing changes, five by five. I am in five inch by five inch format. That is pretty standard. I am in CMYK color, 300 and then default. This bottom down here pretty much is gonna stay default for quite a bit of time. So just kind of notice, we'll just kind of say CMYK, PPI is at 300, and then just double check that default. I'm gonna click on Create. And what we are doing is we're building out our template layer. So I'm just gonna grab this, everything is selected. Let's just drag it over. Let's just slap it on down. And then just in case you don't have your align tools, I'm gonna go align, center, center. I think I want it to drop down to transparency. I might say 33%. And then I think that will be, I will, for my own personal drawing, I usually drop that down to 15% something really, really light. For videos, usually it's a little bit darker, just so you guys can see it. But this would be our little template. So let's lock that guy out. Let's create a new layer. And I have already determined that that would be a pencil. So then that would be that. That's ready to go. File, save. I'm gonna click on OK. And then we're ready to go. So that was it. Thanks for hanging out. I always appreciate it. I always appreciate those nice kind comments. It does make my day. I read those every morning. And if you guys are struggling with anything, definitely put that into the comments section. I try and read those as frequently as possible. For those of you that are on the email list, uh, that does hit my phone. So I get a little buzz and a little notification that you guys are, are struggling. So definitely look for all of the ways that we are supporting. If you guys haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. But that definitely lets me know that we are on the right track. So with that said, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.